Hey guys, Dr. Jim Stepani here with my Pro Gym Protein Blend. Now, for those of you who read my protein spiking article, I'm getting a lot of questions and you're actually posting labels of products asking is, is this product spiked because there's a lot of confusion on how to tell. Um, and remember, for those of you who don't know what protein spiking is or what we call amino spiking or even nitrogen spiking. When you look at the label, the supplement facts panel on a protein powder and you see protein, 24 grams. Now, for the sake of simplicity, let's just say that this was 24 grams of a pure whey protein, a whey protein isolate, say, just to make it simple. Obviously, we know that taking a blend is better than just taking a whey protein by itself. But for, for simplicity's sake, let's just say this is 24 grams. It's a whey protein, okay? Well, when you read that, you assume that there's 24 grams of whey protein. Now, whey protein is a complete protein, meaning all the essential amino acids that you need for muscle building are in there. There's been a little trick that's being done to pull one over on you guys. And that's called nitrogen spiking, or amino spiking, or protein, whatever you want to call it. It's a complete lie, basically what it is. Now, what is, what is this spiking? Well, the way that they determine this 24 grams of protein in a protein powder is they basically measure the nitrogen content. When you know the nitrogen content, you can assume the protein content, okay? Well, the problem is, is that amino acids are what make up your complete proteins, your whey protein, in this case, as the example I'm using. These are long chains of different amino acids strung together. Well, the problem is, is the nitrogen is from those amino acids. Well, it's not a problem, but it's a problem now with, with nitrogen spiking. So what companies have found is that if they put in other ingredients that also contain nitrogen, the protein content goes up and they can list more protein than is actually in the product. So they'll add cheap amino acids like glycine or taurine, even creatine. That sounds like a benefit. Oh my God, my protein powder actually has creatine in it on top. So I get 24 grams of protein plus creatine. No. Creatine is part of that 24 grams. So you might think it's a great benefit to have creatine added to your protein, but you don't know how much whey protein you're actually getting. They're not going to tell you that. So when you're trying to calculate your, your macros and make sure you're getting enough protein before and after workouts or whenever, you don't actually know how much true protein you're getting because of the amino or nitrogen spiking. Even branched chain amino acids, when people see leucine listed on here, they think, well, great, there's branched chains in addition to the 24 gram. No, those branched chains are boosting up that, making that 24 gram, so you don't know how much. So if they load it up with different amino acids, you might only be getting 12 grams of whey protein in that 24 grams and the rest being amino acids. Now that's an extreme case, but still, even if it's, even if you're getting 20 grams and there's four grams from amino acids, you still don't know you're being lied to. That's the problem here with protein spiking. So now how do you tell when you look at a product? I'm not going to show you any bad examples, but I'm just going to show you the good example. This is my pro gym formula. So when you go to the ingredients, the, this is where it's all about. The companies have to list the ingredients that make up the product. So, ingredients go by the amount that's in there. The, whatever's listed first is what's in there at the highest amount. So ingredients, protein blend. So whey protein isolate, micellar casein, milk protein isolate, egg albumin. And then there's the creamer and all these other ingredients that are used for the flavoring 
and the texture of the, pro of the protein powder. So, but you don't see any amino acids listed here. You don't see glycine, taurine, leucine, any ene, anything that ends with an I-N-E. Like I said, taurine, glycine, you name it. Uh, obviously, there's other amino acids that don't end with an I-N-E. Tryptophan is one. Beat, um, beta alanine is another one that's added. And again, you think, wow, I'm getting beta alanine. But it's not in addition to the 24 grams. That's the real problem is you don't know how much protein you're getting. So you can't even calculate to make sure you're getting an adequate amount of protein. So that's the problem with protein spiking. Like I said, the ingredients, this thing right at the bottom, you have your supplement facts panel that lists the total amounts, total amounts of fat, saturated fat, trans fats, uh, how much cholesterol, total carbs. That's all great news. But the real secret is right here in the ingredients list. If you see any amino acids listed in this ingredients list, even if it's leucine, which is, you know, a very anabolic amino acid, it means that you're being lied to about how much total protein is in this protein powder. You want the complete, that's what you're paying for. The reason that they do this is because these amino acids are cheaper. They cost less than the whey protein and the casein protein that goes into, it's, it's much cheaper. So they can put all these amino acids in there and then sell you on the fact that you're getting a protein plus amino acids when in fact you're not getting protein plus amino acids. You're getting protein with amino acids that are boosting up the total amount of protein. So you're actually being lied to. So again, make sure when you buy a protein powder, whether it's a whey, whether it's a protein blend, that you look at the ingredients list and if there are any amino acids listed in here, it's spiked. And you have to know, that you can buy it, but you have to know that whatever total protein that's listed here is not the true total protein that's in there. A lot of that is going to be made from amino acids. Acid. So as long as you're fine with that, then go ahead and purchase it. Now another example that I want to cover, and this is, I don't do that on this, but they, a lot of companies will break down the amino acids that are in the product, but just from the whey. Like I said, whey protein is made up of amino acids, as is, as in casein protein. When you see a big uh, list here of amino acids listed, that doesn't mean it's spiked with all those amino acids. All it's telling you is they're breaking down the amino acids that are from the whey protein and naturally from the casein, for whatever the type of protein is that's in there. If you see a big chart of all the amino acids over here, that doesn't mean it's spiked. Like I said, it's in the ingredients list, okay? If you see a big chart of amino acids and there's no amino acids listed in the ingredients list, it's a good protein. Like I said, they're just showing you the amino acid composition of each one of those proteins because protein is made of amino acids. If, however, there's amino acids listed in the ingredients list, it's spiked. And like I said, I'm not telling you not to buy that protein powder. I'm just saying be aware that whatever they list for total protein is not true protein. So that's how you tell if a protein is spiked. Be sure to go to Gym Supplement Science to read my article on protein spiking as well as all my other articles on supplements, training articles, nutrition articles, and of course a breakdown of all the gym products.